Sounds good. Thanks, Dave. Our current drought has the Northland's lakes, rivers, and streams falling to near record low levels. CBS 3's Peter Kevakaus gets heard from local experts about what that means for you and what the rest of summer may have in store. The water is down to a slow trickle at Chester Creek in Duluth. It's a similar story near the St. Louis River in Scanlon. Water levels there are near record lows coming in at just above two feet. The average is between three and four feet. Joe Moore with the National Weather Service blames that on a lack of rainfall dating back to last year. In May and June, really, we did not have a lot of rainfall across the upper Midwest. And because of that, river levels, which are typically uh, a lot, pretty much normal this time of year, have really dropped to abnormally low levels. The lakes that the creeks and rivers feed into are low as well. According to Joy Lowry, a water monitoring supervisor with the Minnesota DNR, in the last week, Nearly 65% of lake levels across the state of Minnesota were below average. Like this past weekend, about 63% of them are recording um, low or below normal um, levels. Right now, Lowry says the biggest impact of these low water levels is being felt by those looking to escape the summer heat. A lot of the impacts, you know, they're recreation type impacts, um, homeowners having to extend docks, folks having a difficult time um, launching boats. Um, maybe that water level is below, you know, the nice gravel or the cement that has been placed. Um, and so it's muckier and people might get their trailer stuck, those sorts of things. As for what the future holds, Moore says drought and lower water levels look to stick around through the rest of the summer. Looking further out, um, as we go through the rest of the summer, it does look like this dry pattern continues. And when we get into the fall, um, we don't see strong signals for a dry pattern, but we're not seeing any good news. We don't see any strong signals for a wet pattern. According to the National Weather Service, nearly 99% of the state of Minnesota is experiencing moderate drought conditions.